So would you say this helps the protagonist's realization and helps him grow? The realization, which realization? The realization of, of what's going on in the story. Is this, do you feel that the antagonist um, trickery and what he's doing to these characters helps our main protagonist realize and grow through the story as, he's in, as this encounter is happening? Well, um, it's not something he really realizes. It's more so thrust upon him. The, because, um, how much do you know about the plot so far? Everything? Just this? Uh, I'm... What you've heard. Oh, what I've heard. Okay. So, uh, I think I should explain more of how it starts out. So, we have the main character, Jaden Gray, who's a human. And then the four other characters who are aliens. And um, just like Jaden is dissatisfied with his society, um, those aliens are dissatisfied with their own. So that's why they've all come together in The Kingmaker. But Jaden, unlike them, doesn't really have as much knowledge about... Um, the history. Yeah, yeah. Because Earth is not involved with that. But their planets were. So if the... It's kind of like, like a blind Earth. Earth. Yeah. So if the... So the protagonist's goal is to create a new society where help others. Yeah. What is the antagonist's goal against them? I just got here. Oh, nice, nice. Sorry. Shouldn't what is the antagonist's goal? We have we addressed the protagonist's goal, getting everyone together. What is the antagonist's goal? Well, the antagonist isn't all that developed yet, but, but basically it's maintaining where uh, the power structure that's set up in his favor at the moment. So he does not want to give up what he doesn't want to give up the way things are. Yeah, but as for developing it past that, I haven't thought about that too much. I still need to. All right, so we have a moment of truth. Our second plot point. We're midway through our our story. The protagonist realizes the central truth about the nature of the conflict. What does this look like to the reader? The problem about that is that I haven't thought too much about that yet. Well, what do you, what do you feel is going to, what do you feel is going to, what are the key points in that moment that you want your protagonist to do? Um, well, this is going to be pretty different from the other things you've heard. Okay. So I've mentioned before how um, Jaden looks up to Imperious as uh, a type of leader that he wants to aspire to be. There's also another person, uh, Save Us Mos, who um, isn't was never um, in any sort of quite leadership position, but um, people listen to him. They know his ideals and they're able to replicate them when he's not present. So um, Jaden aspires to be like that. But the thing about Sabus is that he's more of like, I wouldn't, I'm not sure how to put it, like kind of unachievable. He's higher up than Jaden. That's how Jaden perceives him. So since Imperius is more on his level, I may be misattributing this, but um, I believe it was Freud that believed that people are gay because they're like, they want to be like a specific man. Okay, he has sex with Imperius. Okay. Jaden does. Yes. Okay. You knew this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, so this is our second here. plot point. This is how the protagonist reacts to part of it. To the truth. That's part of much okay. of it. That's part of him like growing. But also, um, he was in a relationship with Muse. We're doing an interview. Hello. Uh, I don't. I think he figured that out. So does, so does this change the relationship between those two characters? Yeah. In, between him and Imperius, no, because Imperius isn't really the type who would uh, put too much weight to that. But it does change the relationship between Jaden and Muse. Interesting. I didn't know that. You wrote him. You wrote so much of him. He's like, yeah, I know, I know. But, but I he's like so clearly that kind of guy. Yeah, no, no. I knew about Imperius, but I didn't know about Muse. I told you about that. Well, not that... Um... Their relationship gets greatly changed. Like I didn't realize it was that deep. Of a is it a? Is it like a jealousy thing that develops? Mm, is this going? Not, to... not more. It's about betrayal because the thing about Musk's culture is that adultery isn't considered. Well, that's not even a word for them because it's not considered like a bad thing to do in relationships. But um, 
the thing about Muse is that she's like a humanity geek. So like she likes learning about Earth and humans and stuff like that. So um, possessive. I guess. All right. Okay. But uh, to the thing, the what the reason she gets mad is because it was a betrayal because she ends up reading a dictionary from Earth. And she finds the definition of adultery and then realizes, um, like, puts it all together. Mm -hmm.